We are now joined by our pal and yours, Tom Seidler. He's Padre Senior Vice President of Community and Military Affairs. Good morning, Tom. Welcome to the program. Morning, Stephen. How are you guys doing? And we're doing so well. So good to talk to you. Just wanted to, uh, first and foremost, express our condolences to you and and, uh, your entire family. Uh, We all loved Peter very much. I know you did as well. What kind of, um, I've got a brother, you know, and and my two boys are, are brothers. What kind of brother was Peter? He was great. He was an older brother, you know, with the 10 of us. He was number two and I'm number seven. So he um, he coached some of the younger ones like me in sports. He coached me in baseball and he was a great baseball coach. We won our league championship. He coached me in basketball. Did he not was an know awful that. basketball coach. We didn't win a game. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> like if I was to coach basketball. Pretty good as a baseball coach. Not so great as a basketball coach. What what, what was he lacking, Tom, in the basketball arena? No, uh, I think he wasn't aware of um, his limitations. But it's it's good he ended up buying a baseball team, right? <laughs> <laughs> and not a basketball team. Was that always, I mean, obviously, you know, from the O'Malley family, you were, it was baseball was in your blood, but was that like his, his dream and like a family dream, like to get back into the business or was this more of something that happened later in his life? I mean, I think we all had it in our blood, you know, we grew up with it and um, I think the Padres was a special opportunity that he saw a team that hadn't won a championship yet and, and bringing the city its first is special. And it's, uh, you know, such a great community and LA had, you know, the way LA had grown, um, San Diego is just clearly the, the better part of Southern California. So he, he saw it as a uh, better for his family and, and a good opportunity to, to bring winning baseball and new culture to San Diego sports. Uh, talking to Tom Seidler here on Ben and Woods this morning. And, Tom, you know, when something like this happens, I mean, you guys have to grieve and you guys have to be there for, for his family. But there's also a responsibility to the community. And I know that's something that you guys don't take lightly at all and you never have. Uh, and as long as, as you know, you guys are there, I don't think you ever will. But I wanted to uh, to ask you about the Seidler Legacy Fund. I wanted to ask you as well about what exactly is going to go on next year to honor the memory of of uh, of your brother peter yeah we're, we're excited about this uh, you know peter had a lot of passions the the homelessness uh, everyone knows about with the lucky duck and uh and his nightly walks and stuff but he also was concerned about helping wherever we could in underserved pockets of san diego and health and wellness and education um you know youth baseball softball so we're going to look for projects. In fact, I was in Tijuana yesterday looking at a, a possibility of a new baseball softball field down there. Um, but we're going to look at, int- at um, opportunities in all of his areas of interest and see what we can do kind of in his name, keep his legacy alive. And we've had a great outpouring of um, support from fans, from members of the ownership group, uh, from players who have put in a lot of money so we have all these matching funds now so if fans donate a dollar to the peter seidler legacy fund it's uh, becomes five dollars with a uh, each dollar matched with four more so we think we'll have a good amount of money and make some big impact in areas of need around san diego and across the border and um you know continue doing what we were doing with the pottery foundation under his guidance and uh we're excited about it i've talked to eric grubner about it over the last couple of weeks and it's um it's something we're excited about doing and moving forward fans who are interested in donating can uh, go to www.padres.com slash legacy fund and as tom said all those dollars will be matched one two three four times over so one equals five and one more time how long is that going for is that just today or is that going on no it's giving tuesday today but this is going forward for a while correct tom yeah, yeah, it's it's um we have no end date. Today's Giving Tuesday and but um you know, if you want to uh, figure out with your company or your family or whatever, if you want to make a donation, we'll take it anytime. It's not going away anytime soon. And and as you said, uh ownership, the Padres Foundation going to be matching the Seidler family, which is fantastic, but you said the Padres players are stepping up with that donation as well. Do you have any of the kind of the details of, of how that, that kind of came part of it and, and who's stepping up and helping out here? 
Well, quickly, the, the guys that are here, you Darvish, Manny Machado, and Joe Musgrove, all who already donate to our foundation, but they're here working out, staying in shape in the off season. They've quickly said we're all in and and you know committed to matching dollars. So yeah, they, it's it's great that we've got guys that are leaders on the field and in the community like you, Manny and Joe, and I'm sure other players as we spread the word will participate as well. That's amazing. It's amazing to hear talking to uh, Tom Seidler here on Ben and Woods this morning. And, you know, I know Ben talked to you about Eric Katsenda last night uh, on the news. This is obviously a different platform. Wanted to ask you about uh, the man that now has been kind of thrust into uh, the limelight, as it were, because, you know, one thing that your brother did very well, along with uh, A.J. Preller, Eric Grutner, is you really feel like the Padres are on the map. Tom, as, as it were. I mean, you look on MLB Network now, and they're not always your our favorite stories to hear, but they're talking about the San Diego Padres every single day. Um, those are big shoes to fill for Eric Katsenda. I know he's not going to attempt to do that, but tell us a little bit about him as a person and what we could expect uh, with him kind of at the controls now. He's a wonderful man. You know, we've known Eric for 30 years. He's been Peter's partner for 30 years in his business. Um, and um similar values to peter good family man and and um cares and gives back and you know i i don't think it's fair to say one person's going to replace peter i think all of us have to do a little bit more and and eric's eric both eric gruden and eric at center are are obviously doing maybe quite a bit more but um i think that's how you fill the shoes of a great leader like peter is for all of us to do a bit more and and some of us a little bit more than that so I think, you know, Peter's mission was strongly ingrained in all of us who are with the Padres or with his um, equity business. And uh, and it's going to be very easy to have a, a roadmap to follow and, you know, keep the team winning on the field, keep the fan experience great and continue to do great things in the community. Talking to Padres Senior Vice President, brother of Peter, Tom Seidler is with us here on Ben and Woods on 97.3 The Fan. Talked about the Seidler Legacy Fund. Uh, there's also going to be the public celebration of life uh, that weekend in March, March 22nd, 23rd, right around there. Those details are coming out. And you seemed excited when I uh, talked to you last night about the patch that's going to be worn next year. Now, uh, it's not going to be unveiled until before spring training, but uh, that's something that uh, I think we're all going to – like seeing on the jerseys in 2024, correct, Tom? Yeah, in fact, Peter's two daughters have um, have given their thoughts on the design, and, and it's kind of led the the direction of the design for that patch. So I, the, the more that story will come out when it's unveiled, but it's um, you know it's a close to Sheil and 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 their daughters' hearts, and and uh, we're looking forward to seeing that unveiled uh, after the first of the year. Wow, oh, Tom, that's such good stuff. Talking to Tom Sidley here on. It was Bennett. already going to be emotional seeing the patch. <laughs> now that we know the background, even more yeah, so. Yeah. Even more so. One hundred percent. What a, what a great family uh, you guys are, and and give back so much to uh, our community here, Tom. Uh, obviously, Paulie and I are excited. We'll see you out at, at fantasy camp this year. I know it's uh, one of your biggest passion pro- uh, projects. But did you hear uh, who's going to be joining us out there? And that is one Benjamin Higgins. Now he's not. He's not going to play, Tom. He says he's not playing, but he's going to be there amongst us, just creepily <laughs> watching will, everything. I will be observing, and maybe I'll call some of the <laughs> he action. Wants play by play. He wants to do play-by-play play yeah. in the worst way. <laughs> so we're starting him here at the lowest level, and so just keep your eyes on him, okay? All four. He promised, All eight. He promised he would play when we won a championship. Yeah, so he's he's halfway did. there, which is good. I did. I did. I'm um, holding their feet to the fire on that yeah, one. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's going to take a World <laughs> Series parade, and then you'll see me actually suit up in fantasy camp. Like, nothing would make me happier to, than to see that out there. <laughs> well, doubly so now. Doubly if we so. have, If we have the normal rash of pulled hamstrings and torn Achilles, we may have to use you as a pinch hitter, Ben. Oh, well, that's what I'm worried about. I can't afford a, I've got a golf game to worry about. I can't pull in <laughs> a we're gonna hamstring a or bump. <laughs> tear an Achilles or anything. Before you go, Tom, uh, all the things that uh, you guys are going to be doing to, to honor Peter – is in addition to what the Padres do every year, their holiday giving tour is oh, yeah. underway. And I saw last uh, 
It was last week when everyone was handing out the, the turkeys, and there was a lot of military families there. I know you work closely uh, with the military as the, the senior vice president for military affairs, but that was amazing, and there's a, a bunch of stuff that's coming up this month as well that uh, Padres and, and front office members and players are going to be involved in. Yeah, we do this every year. It's about 25 events, and again, a, a few events. We're going across the border Saturday and doing a clinic um, a baseball softball clinic in Tijuana and then go into a community center run by the folks that help us build homes down there. Our front office builds a, a home in Tijuana every year. But we work with a number of charities, uh, Veterans Village, Armed Services, YMCA, the Monarch School, um, the Boys and Girls Clubs, and do a number of events uh, primarily focused on kids and families from areas of need and give them a little holiday joy and a little boost during the holidays. The players also participate in this and alumni. So it's a great series of events um, over the next couple of weeks. And um, we've added a special event for our employees to honor Peter in mid-December. So you'll hear about that in a couple of weeks as well. Last one for me, Tom. Has there been any uh, talk in all of these meetings about a potential a potential statue uh, of your brother outside Petco Park? Oh, I think, um, you know, there's there's been a lot of great ideas from fans and, and others. And uh, I think for now, the, the focus is on the celebration of life and the patch and this legacy fund. And we'll see what time brings. Yeah. But um, and the important thing is that we're all kind of guided by his spirit. And, and um, you know, our hearts are broken, obviously. But, but the outpouring of love for Peter has kind of made our hearts more full than ever, in a way, which is... Um, you know, it's an interesting uh, dichotomy kind of, but uh, um, if that's if that's in the cards down the road, uh, I don't think we're rushing into that um, with the number of, you know, Peter's legacy and our family's involvement are long term. So I don't think we're going to rush into some of those decisions, but Good. I, I appreciate I, you bringing it up. Yeah. And I think, you know, I think just what you said right there, I think puts a lot of Padres fans at ease. Uh, it really does. The The fact that your family is is long-term. Peter always talked. He talked to us about long-term plans and a long-term su- sustainable run of success. And look, it's baseball. Anything can happen, as we've seen. You know, we, we saw the Diamondbacks go on a miraculous run. It can happen. Um, you know, but there, there's obviously no guarantees. But to hear that you guys will stay heavily involved in the organization, I think, does help uh, ease some minds of some Padres fans. Yeah, and I got to tell you, I told you guys privately, but I should mention it on air. Uh, Sheila and the, and the girls listened to your show in the aftermath of Peter's passing, and it was a good part of the healing process for them. You guys and the other shows on 97.3 really handled it well. It's a tough thing to do, and you guys had the right tone and had some fans tell great stories. And, you know, Peter would not want it to be all somber and grief. He would want it to be a celebration and good stories and and I think you found the right balance and, and really helped the family out. So thank you again. Yeah, the, the, the tier ones, the listeners were amazing. AJ Preller uh, at that yeah, press conference where he talked about the baggy, the share, shared love of baggy yeah. clothes. Was was, I, everyone was laughing, and I, I know Peter would have loved that as well. Tom, it was so good to see you last night. So good to talk to you again here this morning. Again, just our... Our best wishes to you and your family, our deepest sympathies. I know the holiday season is tough, but you've got a, a community here in San Diego that loves the Sidlers, and uh, we certainly do here as a show as well. So thank you so much. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it.